Close your eyes and watch your breath. Let the mind feel good about the fact that it can just stay right here. It doesn't have any other responsibilities right now. And feel good about the fact that you can find happiness simply by watching your breath. The Pali word sukha, happiness, can mean pleasure, ease, even bliss. And it's all here in the breath. If the mind stays with the breath, it has a place to settle down. As the Buddha said, there really is no happiness other than peace. We may think of certain things in the world that make us happy without being peaceful, but it's because the mind can stay with those things for a while. That's what makes it happy. Here's something you can stay with for a long time. As the breath smooths out, it gets more and more comfortable to be here. You realize how good it is that it's possible to find happiness in a way that doesn't harm anybody. Because everybody's looking for happiness, pleasure, well-being of one kind or another. And the question is whether you do it with principles or not. The principles are that you're truthful and that you're harmless. In other words, you look for happiness that doesn't harm anybody. And you're not deceiving anybody. You're not deceiving yourself. And that kind of happiness is hard to find, but it is possible. And here's an opportunity. We can make, we can be generous. We can follow the precepts. We can meditate. All these ways, are ways of finding happiness that doesn't harm anybody. And they drive home the principle that you got to be truthful. Oh, they're just sitting here. And you should be meditating. If your mind is wandering off someplace else, there's not going to be any benefit from the practice. You have to be really true in sticking to what you're doing. In this way, being harmless and being truthful. And you can find happiness at the same time. It feels good all around. It feels physically good, and it feels good for the mind, good for the heart. So remind yourself of this fact each time you sit down with the breath. Here's a possibility of happiness that doesn't have any drawbacks. As John Munn once said, the goodness of the world it was, doesn't have any drawbacks at all. Okay, that's genuine goodness. And it can be found right here. You don't have to go far away. You don't have to depend on anybody else. It's yours for the, the finding. Just give it some time. Give it your truthfulness that you're really going to stick with it. Learn how to overcome whatever obstacles may come up in getting the mind to settle down. But when it works, it works. It works really well. And it's satisfying all around.